Hi, CNA question. The idea of this video is to uh, give you two questions that you can expect on your CCNA exam. It is very important for you to practice a lot of questions before you go and take your CCNA exam. If you like the idea, I will try and record more videos like this. Uh, I will ask you to uh, post a comment and uh, tell me what you think. The first question you can see on the screen, but second is much more interesting because it will be a lab in Packet Tracer that I will share with you. You can download it and try and troubleshoot it. Uh, for those of you, if you don't have Packet Tracer, I will do some uh, basic show commands and you should be able to figure out what the problem is. The first uh, the first two questions that I prepared for you are from the routing protocol. The first is a very popular question on, on a CCNA exam and in all CCNA books that uh, will ask you to compare routing protocols. Okay, so you should not, should not only know what OSPF is, what RIB is, what the administrative distance is, you should be able to compare all these routing protocols. Okay, if you know uh, the answer, please uh, put it in your comments and explain why. Okay, so this is a this is our topology. We've got network A and network B, and five answers. If we enable OSPF in this topology, the path will be router one, router four, router three. If we enable RIP in this topology, the path will be router one, four, three. If we enable OSPF and RIP in this topology, the path will be router 1, 2, 3. If we enable ERGRP and OSPF, OSP routes will be used. If we enable RIP, ERGRP and OSPF, the most efficient path will be negotiated between the routing protocols. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or, or all 5 answers can be correct. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's go to our lab. Okay, I will make sure that this lab is available for you to download. So if you have Packet Tracer, you can, sorry, you can download this lab and try and troubleshoot that. It's a RIP-based lab. It's a RIP-based lab. And uh, the problem here is that PC2 cannot be pinged from PC0 and PC1. Okay, everything else is working. All routers have basic configuration with RIP enabled. Okay, so please go ahead and download this lab if you can and try and troubleshoot that and fix the problem and please post a comment and tell me what the problem was. As I said, if you like the idea of these questions, I will try and record more and later on maybe even give you some prizes for uh, for giving the best or the fastest answer. Okay, so let me do some troubleshooting for those of you who, if you don't have a packet trace. Okay, so PC0 can ping router 0. PC1 can ping router 1. PC2 can ping router 2. PC0 cannot ping PC2. PC1 cannot ping PC2. Router 0 can ping router 1. Router 2 can ping router 1. Okay, show command. Router 0. Show IP interface brief. Show IP protocol. Go ahead and pause the video if you need. I will not tell you anything, just do some show commands and try and figure out what the problem is. Router 1.
Where we go to it. Shall I be to face brief on your screen? Shall I be protocol? As you can see, it is name. Okay, you should be able to figure it by now. If not, let me do two more commands. Show IP root. And show IP root on router two. cannot ping PC2. PC1 cannot ping PC2. These routers can ping each other. And PCs can ping the default gateway. Okay. This PC will not be able to ping that router either. PC will not be able to ping that router either. But this PC, this router, will be able to ping router 2. Okay, I did, I did some show commands, and uh, that should be enough, but the best way to uh, sort it out is to download this app and uh, give it a try. Good luck, post your comments and explain what the problem was. Thank you very much.